Emma Bry was no stranger to the rigors of travel with a toddler. On this particular day, she and her two-year-old daughter, Rosie, were seated on a plane, waiting for takeoff. The plane had been grounded for almost an hour due to unspecified delays, which only added to Emma's frustration. She tried to keep her irritation in check, focusing instead on keeping Rosie entertained. Suddenly, an elderly man boarded the plane, moving slowly down the aisle. His presence immediately caught Emma's attention. There was something dignified yet vulnerable about the way he carried himself. Emma watched as he struggled to find his seat in the row behind her. Noticing his discomfort, she decided to do something she often did, extend a helping hand. Without a second thought, she stood up, approached the man, and offered to switch seats. It's no trouble at all, sir, she assured him with a warm smile. The old man hesitated but eventually accepted Emma's offer with a grateful nod. He settled into her seat, and Emma took his place, thinking she had done her good deed for the day. Little did she know, this simple act of kindness was about to unravel a mystery that would change her life forever. As Emma and Rosie got comfortable in their new seats, she couldn't help but observe the old man. He wore a hat emblazoned with the words World War II and Korean War veteran. Emma's heart swelled with respect. Her grandfather had also served in World War II, and she felt a deep appreciation for those who had fought for their country. The old man, whose name was Charles, seemed to struggle with a confined space and hard seating. Emma noticed his discomfort and felt a pang of guilt for not offering him her seat earlier. She watched as he pulled out a thick, worn photo album from his bag and began to flip through its pages. The sight of the old, yellowed photographs intrigued Emma, and she found herself peeking over his shoulder. One particular photo caught her eye and made her heart skip a beat. It was a black and white image of a group of soldiers, their faces young and determined. Emma's breath caught in her throat when she recognized one of the faces. It was her grandfather, William. Emma's mind raced. How could this be? She needed to know more. She waited for a moment when Charles seemed less engrossed in his memories and gently tapped his shoulder. Excuse me, sir. She began hesitantly. May I ask about the photo you were just looking at? Charles looked up surprised but not annoyed. He turned back to the page Emma had indicated and smiled wistfully. This was taken in Normandy during the war, he explained. These men were my comrades. We fought side by side, and some of them didn't make it back. Emma's eyes welled up with tears as she pointed to her grandfather's face. This man, she said, her voice trembling, is my grandfather. Charles stared at the photo and then at Emma, his eyes widening in recognition. William, he whispered, your grandfather is William. Emma nodded, too choked up to speak. Charles closed the album gently and looked at Emma with a mixture of surprise and warmth. Your grandfather was not just a fellow soldier, he said softly. He was my best friend. He saved my life more times than I can count. Emma felt a rush of emotions. She had always been close to her grandfather, who was still alive and lived nearby. However, hearing first-hand accounts of her grandfather's bravery and the deep bond he shared with Charles added a new layer of understanding and respect. Would you mind telling me more about him? She asked, her voice barely above a whisper. Charles smiled and nodded. For the remainder of the flight, he recounted tales of courage, friendship, and sacrifice. Emma listened intently, her heart aching with every word. She learned about the battles they had fought, the hardships they had endured, and the unbreakable bond that had formed between the soldiers. As the plane began its descent, Emma knew she couldn't let Charles go without doing something special for him. She remembered that her father was coming to pick her up from the airport. An idea formed in her mind, and she decided to act on it. When they landed, Emma helped Charles gather his belongings. She then introduced herself properly and explained her plan. My father is picking me up, she said. He would love to meet you. There's something I want to show you. Charles, though puzzled, agreed to come along. They made their way through the bustling airport to the arrival hall where Emma's father was waiting. Emma ran to him and whispered something in his ear. Her father's eyes widened in shock and then filled with tears. He approached Charles with a mixture of reverence and emotion. Sir, he said, his voice shaking, 
You have no idea how much it means to us to meet you. My father spoke of you often. Emma led Charles and her father to a small suburban house, her grandfather's current home. She opened the door and guided Charles inside. The house had a cozy, nostalgic feel, filled with memorabilia from a bygone era. Emma directed Charles to a chair facing away from the entrance. There's someone here who wants to see you, she said softly. A figure stood up from the chair and turned around slowly. It was an elderly man, about the same age as Charles. As their eyes met, recognition dawned, and both men were overcome with emotion. Charles, is that you? The elderly man, William, asked, his voice quivering. Charles was speechless. Tears streamed down his face as he rushed to embrace his old friend. William, how is this possible? The two men hugged tightly, their decades of separation melting away in an instant. They cried, laughed, and held onto each other as if afraid to let go. Emma and her father watched, their own eyes wet with tears as the two war heroes reconnected. For the next few hours, Charles and William sat together, reminiscing about their wartime experiences. They shared stories of bravery and loss, of camaraderie and sacrifice. Emma listened in awe, absorbing every detail. She learned that her grandfather had been a true hero, not just in the stories she had heard growing up, but in the eyes of his comrades as well. Charles recounted the time William had saved him during a fierce battle, pulling him to safety despite being wounded himself. He spoke of the many nights they had spent talking about their hopes and dreams, keeping each other sane amidst the chaos of war. William, in turn, talked about how Charles had been a pillar of strength for their unit, always ready to lend a hand or offer words of encouragement. He described how Charles had saved many lives with his quick thinking and bravery. As the evening wore on, Emma noticed that Charles kept glancing at a specific photo in the album. It was the same one that had shocked her on the plane. She felt the sense of curiosity and urgency. There's something about that photo, isn't there? She asked gently. Charles nodded, his expression turning serious. Yes, there is, he replied. There's a mystery that I've been trying to solve for years. This photo was taken on the day before our last mission. One of the men in this photo disappeared that day, and we never found out what happened to him. Emma leaned in, intrigued. Who was it? She asked. Charles pointed to a young man standing next to William in the photo. His name was David, he said. He was a brilliant soldier and a good friend. We were supposed to meet up after the mission, but he never showed up. We searched for him, but there was no trace. It was as if he vanished into thin air. Emma's mind raced. Could it be possible that David had survived somehow? She knew she had to help Charles find out the truth. Let's see what we can do, she said determinedly. Over the next few weeks, Emma and her father worked tirelessly to uncover any information about David. They searched through old records, contacted military archives, and even reached out to veterans' organizations. Charles provided as much information as he could, recalling every detail he could remember. Their efforts eventually led them to a small town in the Midwest. There, they discovered that David had indeed survived the war, but had been severely injured and unable to return to his unit. He had been taken in by a local family and had lived a quiet, unassuming life, far from the chaos of his past. Emma and Charles decided to visit David. They found him living in a modest house, still strong despite his age. When they explained who they were and why they had come, David was overwhelmed with emotion. He had thought of his comrades often, but had never imagined he would see them again. The reunion was bittersweet. David shared his story, recounting the pain of his injuries and the long road to recovery. He spoke of the guilt he had felt for not being able to rejoin his unit and the relief of finding peace in his new life. For Charles, meeting David brought a sense of closure. The mystery that had haunted him for decades was finally resolved. He felt a deep sense of gratitude for Emma and her family, who had made this reunion possible. The three men spent hours talking, laughing, and reminiscing. They shared their stories with Emma, who listened with rapt attention, grateful for the opportunity to witness such a profound connection. As they prepared to leave, Charles turned to Emma, his eyes filled with gratitude. You have no idea what this means to me, he said. Thank you for bringing us together. Emma smiled, her heart full. It was the least I could do, she replied. You all deserve to be reunited.
The experience had a profound impact on Emma. She felt a renewed sense of purpose and a deeper appreciation for the sacrifices made by those who had fought for their country. She continued to keep in touch with Charles and David, visiting them often and listening to their stories. For Charles, the reunion with William and David brought a sense of peace. He no longer felt the weight of the unanswered questions that had burdened him for so long. He spent his remaining years surrounded by friends and family, cherishing every moment. William, too, found joy in reconnecting with his old friends. He shared his memories with his family, ensuring that their stories would be passed down to future generations. As for Emma, she continued to honor the legacy of her grandfather and his comrades. She volunteered at veterans' organizations, sharing the story of their reunion and inspiring others to appreciate the sacrifices made by those who served. The simple act of giving up a plane seat had led to an extraordinary journey filled with unexpected twists and emotional revelations. Emma's kindness had not only reunited old friends, but had also brought healing and closure to a decades-old mystery. In the end, the story of Emma, Charles, William, and David became a testament to the power of compassion, the strength of friendship, and the enduring bonds forged in the crucible of war. It reminded everyone who heard it that sometimes, the smallest gestures can lead to the most profound connections, and that the legacies of our loved ones live on in the hearts and memories of those they touched. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video with your friends and family to spread the enjoyment. Take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.